Say hi, Aria. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's Aria and Preferred. Welcome back to my channel. I have been trying to make this video for a very long time, and I've never been satisfied with the result. So I'm, I'm very happy to say that I finally finished it. And I've gathered all this footage just to show you my writing journey and where I started and how I got into writing. It's, it's great. <laughs> so I started writing when I was like three years old. It was kind of crazy. I was really young. Um, my parents both loved horses, were in with the hobby. My mom competed. My dad more did it for pleasure, but he was the one who taught me the most. I grew up in Dundal and my parents owned the barn there. So pretty much everybody boarded with us. Um, so I was pretty much able to ride whoever or whenever I wanted. Um, and when I was five years old, my parents got me a little pony named Slater. Slater was a, at the time, six-year-old Welshie. Um, him and I are almost the same age. He's a year older. Um, and he's living his best life right now, mind you. Um, retirement, out in the paddock, he's living his best life. Um, but he is the horse that pretty much taught me everything, along with my dad teaching me. Um, Slater and I were, like I said, inseparable. Um, wherever I went, he followed. Um, I even tried to take him to school one day. That didn't work out well. Slater taught me how to jump and all of that. Uh, we had our first bareback together. Um, I really like to ride him in a rope halter. Um, as you can see, there's a video of him bolting and rearing. That was terrifying the first time it happened, but he was a spicy little little guy. I, I loved him so much. Uh, we would go out for trail rides together, or I'd take my brothers along, or uh, my parents would come with me, or my friends. My life in Dundal was pretty great. I had tons of friends and we'd all go out riding together. Um, it was pretty fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Slater and I also started to get into competitions in show jumping. That's when my mom kind of stepped in and started teaching me all about show jumping and hunter jumpers. I had the most fun at that time. It was amazing just in the competition and I still love it today. Slater wasn't the fastest pony or the showiest pony, but he was mine um, and I loved him dearly. And here is a video of us getting first place in a hunter jumpers competition. When I was 14 though, I had to move out to Cape West with my dad because my parents separated. Um, and I also started to outgrow Slater. So my dad got me a cute little dapple gray Arabian mare named Violet to keep me busy. We boarded Slater and Violet at Golden Leaf Stables and I would help out there as much as possible because that's where my dad worked. Living out in Cape West was a lot of fun. Honestly, I really enjoyed the uh, seaside town and all the people were awesome and lovely and welcoming and Golden Leaf Stables is probably one of my favorite places to be in the world. Um, I love everybody there and I miss them so much now not being there. I think Golden Leaf will forever have a special place in my heart um, and when I started writing there, I found a love for uh, cross country. Um, I continued show jumping and working on that, but I eventually picked up cross country um, and Miss Violet actually excelled at that. She loved running on the beach and going fast and doing the jumps. It was a lot of fun and <laughs> her and I really bonded through this. I graduated high school um, a little bit early. 
Um, so your girl got into university a little bit early and I decided to go to Jarlheim and I got a bachelor's in equine science and I started riding at Jorvik Stables. It was probably the most beautiful property I've ever seen. It is immaculate. I it's so pretty but while i was there i was actually asked to join the polo team and i had never really played polo so i don't know why they came to me and asked but i said yes and hopped onto the opportunity of playing polo and i absolutely loved it i loved playing polo so much while i was playing polo i was assigned to this beautiful gelding his name is archie he is a off the track thoroughbred um, and he was so much fun to ride while playing polo and I got to ride him outside of polo as well So we would just go on hacks and ride together and it was a really good experience But um one day while I was playing polo I got hurt and I fell off and I broke my leg and I just took a while Obviously to heal but even after that I finished up my university and I didn't really think I would get back on a horse. I was honestly super nervous. This whole incident messed with me a lot mentally. So I took it really slow and took the time off that I needed before getting back on. And that's where we are pretty much currently. Before I, brought Bri I bought Bridget, I started riding Violet again and she helped build up my confidence a lot. Um, I didn't really lose any of my ability while riding, it was just all confidence based. So I really struggled to get back into the saddle and get comfortable and not be tense up there and Violet really, really helped me. Um, and then eventually I saw an ad for Bridget who was really young and I didn't know if I could handle uh, riding her and training her, but I bit the bullet and I reached out and I bought Miss Bridget and that's where we are today. Bridget was the first horse I bought myself and I'm going to be honest, she is the best decision I've ever made. Um, I love her so much and I'm so happy for our friendship and uh, what she's given me. She has given me so much confidence and I really wish I could reciprocate what she has done for me and give back to her and I really am excited to see what the future holds for us. All right guys, thank you so much for listening to my story. Um, I really had a fun time searching through all my old memories and putting this together. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, if you liked my video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, it means a lot whenever you do so. My Discord and uh, Instagram are also linked down below if you'd like to follow me. Um, yeah, I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.